Hi Scorpios. This is going to be your November 2019 love reading. I am a Scorpio myself and have been picking cards for myself for a while now. So I check out a lot of YouTube channels whenever you know I need just a quick insight to what's going on. Well, even before I was ready to begin the reading, the star card just popped out. So, this is our birthday month. I hope that this month, all our wishes are going to come true. I hope this card, you know, this is the first card, so it sets the mood and I hope it sets it right for the year ahead. I'm so happy to find this card, the star card, the first card of our reading. It just popped out. So I usually just, uh, you know, wait for the cards to just fly out rather than pick one from the deck. I usually just shuffle some, uh, shuffle for a while until the cards just pop out. So the Ace of Wands, that's also a very good sign. So maybe some of you are in love with uh, a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius. Uh, I feel a Sagittarius energy especially. So well if you are hoping if you are in the right path the, you've had the ace of wands here you know it's a good sign so you probably are making the right choices right now <laughs> so we have the name of cups so i feel like uh, this aries leo sagittarius uh, that you have your heart on i think it's um younger than you a younger fairer it could even be a water sign because he have the name of cups um, um you can say mature or at least less mature compared to you because uh, i usually get this card a lot because i you know i i, I relate to this card as a younger sign a younger less mature guy but the thing is the guy may, may not be less mature it's just that you know, compared to you. I'm not going to explain <laughs> much. So, this, uh, from the three cards, what I feel is that for some of you, you are in love with a younger water or fire sign. And he is your wish. He is your dream. He is the dream that you are hoping would come true. And, uh, well, so that is the subject matter. Let's see how this reading goes further. So what is there in store for you and this younger fire sign that you are, you know, wishing to be with? Let's see. Let's see. So the two of swords came out. So someone is in denial here and i am assuming that it's this fire sign it's this younger guy who is in denial you feel like that um you feel that you know they love you but they are not accepting it they are not accepting of the fact that you guys are meant to be together there's a lot of happiness when you guys meet there's a lot of like a dream come true kind of feeling when you guys do meet um, but I feel like the rest of the time he puts up a front of defensiveness and that's why I say immature let's see so um, let me think a bit more about this scenario here what is between you guys Five of Wands. Hmm. What is in between you guys? So what is it that's holding you back? I feel like there is a lot of defensiveness, a lot of uncertainties that's stopping you guys from being together. See in this card, uh, two hearts bleeding towards each other that's why 
I have a feeling that both of you guys actually do love each other, but it just doesn't feel like the right time. Things doesn't seem to move together, move in the same direction. But I feel like I feel a strong fire sign here. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Scorpio is in love with a fire sign here. But things doesn't seem to. Wow. Okay. So we have the six of cups here. So it is. Huh. What's at the bottom of the deck? So it is like uh, an old friend. An old friend who, you know, it's like someone you have known for a long time. This is you and this is the guy and he probably has a black mole around on his cheek somewhere <laughs> so this is this younger guy that you know see you are being the queen you are the queen and he is this younger guy who is being defensive but despite all odds he is your wish he is the guy that you are hoping to be with so it's an old guy it's it's an ex it's probably someone you've been with for a while and so you're hoping that he would this name of cups this page of cups is going to turn out to be a king of cups you're hoping that he would you know mature and realize that you guys are meant to be with and then oh, Perhaps you guys are in a long distance relationship. I feel like he has come to see you or he has traveled a lot long way to come see you. You got or you guys are you are hoping to travel to see, see him, go see him. I feel like you guys are in a long distance relationship and maybe that's why um there is some defensiveness because he is young and he wants to explore all his options and he's not committing. Um, I have a feeling that there was some sort of fallout between you guys recently. Um, so you, or you was, you were rejected, you offered, you offered your heart, but he did not take that cup and he rejected it. But ultimately I have a feeling that this is on its way. So you have the 10 of cups here, uh, a happy family life your fairy tale ending your happily ever after so i have a feeling that this is on the way you just need to hold on you just need to hold on show strength character and things will fall into place so let me just pick out a couple of more cards so is this meant to be like I need to show strength I need to hold on is it worth it is the heartache worth it the devil card I interpret this as fate so this is going to be destiny the fire that you have to go through is fate for you guys to have your ten of cups for you guys to have the ten of cups you are going to have to walk through the trials and tribulations you just need to show you know you're going to have a feeling that some of you to get your happy ending you're gonna have to catch a flight you have to show strength you have to give them some time to mature from the their immature self to become the king that they are because trust me even through the rejections if you hold your strength I feel like it's going to be a wish come true for you and that it's going to be worth it with this person from your past let me just pick another card for you guys tell us what we need to know about this connection
<laughs> so this is a weird combination. Um, so things are going to shake up. Things are going to shake up a little bit. There has been, or maybe there has been a reason. Like I said, there has been a recent fallout between you and your soulmate. But the ultimately, even after this tower, there is going to be union. There is going to be love and passion between the two of you. And there will be celebrations at the end. Because victory in this relationship is going to be yours. They could be defensive all they want. But this is a true union. You guys are meant to be together. I hope this is a good reading for you guys. Um, please, um, hoping to talk to you again.